So we are here at 241 Red Fox Lane, just pulling in the driveway. This nice meadow to the left is part of the property. We've got a private drive here shared with one other property. This open space here needs to remain open for the deed, but gives you great space maybe for a few animals, uh, potentially for lawn games, volleyball, cornhole. Um, yeah, just nice open space. We're going to be passing by a big hump in the ground here, which is the mound system, uh, shared with the subject house as well as one other property. These white buildings with green roofs are uh, historic cottages from the Sangha Dewin Girls Camp. So these were sleeping cottages. Uh, they're basically just rough framed buildings uh, with porches on the front. Certainly potential to do something more with them, but they, uh, in today's standards, are, are more like sheds, but great, uh, great buildings and great history. Alright, so we're getting a glimpse of the lake now here down towards the house. Just a stunning view of the house and the mountains around Lake Willoughby. I'll take you inside in just a few moments. Nick McClure here, Century 21 Farm and Forest. I'm at 241 Red Fox Lane in Westmore, Vermont overlooking the gorgeous Lake Willoughby. We've got a three-sided covered porch here. Low maintenance composite decking, vinyl siding, looking down towards the water. It's a beautiful fall day here in Vermont. Got a nice side yard here, which is quite private. Propane generator out there on the corner of the deck. Uh, we've got an old fireplace here, which is part of the Sangadewan girls' cottages with a pergola and a little patio. So great place to come out and sit by a fire, roast some marshmallows, make some s'mores. I'll take you inside. Very open uh, living space here. Nice propane wood style stove. Got tongue and groove walls, tongue and groove ceiling. Speaking of ceilings, they're nine feet high. We also have a radiant heated floor. Quartz counter here in the kitchen island with an apron style sink. Butcher block counter or counter on this side cupboard. Nice space for some stools. Stainless appliances. Down the hallway, to the right, we've got a guest bedroom. Again, same tall, nice nine foot ceilings. There's a bathroom here, which is a full bath. Anderson windows. This is a hallway behind me would be back towards the garage. I'll take you down there in a minute. We've got a hall closet. Got 
another graciously sized bedroom with access to the covered porch. Great views to wake up to. This is en suite. This bathroom has a step-in style shower. The closet back there in the corner. So next I'm going to take you upstairs, which is currently an unfinished space. But there's almost 1,600 square feet of space that could be finished off. It is all insulated with a closed cell spray foam. These ceilings are incredibly high. I would say, gosh, they got to be 10 feet up here. So this is a wide open space, could be a primary suite, could be an office, um, a lot of potential uses up here, yoga studio, art studio. It is plumbed for another bathroom here. Spectacular views looking out at Willoughby Gap. It's also framed up for a couple of closets. And we're going to enter a room that the owners call the crow's nest. So this room is all finished, but our moose is relaxing, reading a book. Glad to see he's got his reading glasses on. Spectacular views. So we're back in the kitchen and I'm going to take you down into the basement, which is a full unfinished basement. Nice gradual staircase coming down. We've got radiant heat in the floor down here. Propane hot water boiler. Lots of storage space. Double doors to the right, which is great for storing larger items. And we do have some great windows here, so if you wanted to finish off family room, rec room, media space there's a lot of potential down here and even from the basement beautiful views next i'll take you over to the garage in the apartment all right coming back through the hallway heading back towards the mud room or entry Really cool ceiling detail up here. So this door to my right is going to bring you to the uh, side porch. Got access to the driveway and guest parking here. I'll scoot through the garage. Just currently being utilized for storage space and a small car in here, as well as the laundry. So this is all heated space. Uh, we call it a one and a half car garage because there's a, a smallish bay here. Just currently a guest overflow space. There is a three quarter bath. Private entrance, there's another parking spot here to the left. Mr. Moose welcomes us. All right, now we're up 
in the apartment or in-law suite. Great views from the sink. Propane range, dining table, refrigerator. Nice little living space. I just noticed the modem and it reminds me that we do have uh, high speed internet. Uh, should be here any day now through Consolidated. Uh, they've run a fiber line very near here. So the expectation is 100 megabytes per second of download speed and 30 upload. <laughs> Private balcony. Overlooking the side yard. Let's quickly point out this, give you a little history of the property. This was the Fox Hall. Sorry about the glare, but you can see all the sleeping cabins. This was quite a few years ago. But the lake is equally as gorgeous as it was then. This has got a single bedroom. And from here we've got a view looking up towards the uh, old girls, girls' cottages. All right, I think that wraps up the interior. I will show you a little bit more of the exterior in a moment. All right, now we're out in the driveway. It's got a beautiful exterior. Good amount of parking. Looking back up towards the Songadiwan Girls Cottages, which are on the property. Got a raised bed garden. I've already shown you the porch. We'll take a little walk down below. So about where I'm standing here is approximately the property line. So everything to the left. Those, are those double doors that I showed you from down below. I'm going to take a quick walk down to the water and I'll do another little video down there. All right, so we've got two access points down here by the water. We do have a boathouse on premise, which is great because the, uh, the state will not allow new construction of these boathouses. So it's here, it can be maintained and allows you to store things right at the water's edge. Right now the owner's dock has been taken out for the season, but we've got 177 feet of private frontage. path that I'm walking on here is actually a, a right-of-way for all of the properties along this section of shore um, and it's a seasonal access point makes it great to be able to bring docks and boat lifts and that kind of stuff down um, without having to come straight straight down from the house so again as I said the Docks have been pulled, but these aluminum docks to my left are part of the property. I'll show you how clear the water is. It's a nice sandy bottom once you get off these rocks. Willoughby Lake is a great lake for fishing. It's over 1,700 acres. Third largest lake entirely within the state of Vermont. And it is, uh, well, on two sides, you've got state forest, which uh, I think equates to about 8,000 acres of conserved land. Uh, wonderful hiking. If you like the outdoors, Westmore is a wonderful place to be. We are about, uh, I'd say about 25 minutes from Burke Mountain and Kingdom Trails. 
So skiing, snowboarding, uh, mountain biking, all close by. Also not far away, Crassberry Outdoor Center, wonderful Nordic Ski Center, one of the only ski Nordic centers that makes snow. Um, and not far beyond that, uh, Stowe or J Peak Resort. So a lot of great outdoor, rec outdoor recreation opportunities. I hope you enjoyed this tour. 241 Red Fox Lane is listed for 1.35 million. 6.1 acres of land on gorgeous Lake Willoughby. If you have questions, reach out to me, Nick, 802-673-8876 or at nick at farmandforest.com. If you like this tour, please subscribe and like the video and see others tours as we present them. Thank you very much. All right, so now I'm up on the top, uh, standing on a porch of one of the old girls' cottages. So rustic, rudimentary buildings here, um, unheated, uninsulated, no plumbing. Uh, they do have power, pretty minimal, just with a, a light here or there. Uh, but we've got five of them on this property. So we've got this uh, lovely dead white birch, cabin to the right of it. This one, the one I was just in, uh, this is just a temporary kind of RV storage shed that they have. And then two more. Um, what you have here is all where these ropes are, uh, all these um, hatches, I guess, open up. So those are, in essence, your windows. Close them at night, open them up in the winter, uh, excuse me, in the day, and you have your views. So up at the top here, it levels out quite substantially. Get another raised bed garden. Lots of additional parking up here. And then we've got the uh, section that I showed on the way in, coming in through the driveway, this open meadow that runs all the way back to Peen Hill Road. So a lot of space up here, a lot of room to play, great spot maybe to have a, I don't know, maybe a tennis court or a basketball court, volleyball, horseshoes, Maybe a few animals, gardens. I think that wraps up our tour. I hope you enjoyed it.